Hi, this is Dave with MTB Discount. Uh, today we're going to be mounting up uh, tubeless tires onto our stands, the ZTR arch rims. Uh, we're going to be using today the Hans Dampf uh, from Schwalbe uh, 2.25 on the uh, front tire. Uh, for the tools you're going to need for this job, you're going to need a floor pump, of course. I use a five gallon bucket, which is, uh, makes it a little bit easier to do the mount up. You're going to need some stand sealant, of course and a tire lever, maybe, just depending on the bead you're running. We're using a Kevlar bead, so it usually goes on by hand, but sometimes it needs a little encouragement. And some soapy water, so just a little bit of water um, and some dish soap works fine, just enough to make it bead up a little easier. So first off, we're going to take our tire and we're going to set it up onto the rim, try and get it into the channel. And for this, I use the five gallon bucket. For me, it's a little easier. Um, if you've got a wheel stand, you can use that. Um, or you can hang it somewhere if you've got a nice solid surface. But uh, again, getting the tire to beat up is a little easier when you've got something vertical to hang it from as well. So we're just trying to get the bead into the center channel. Got the one side in. We're going to go ahead and get the other side in. And I like getting the portion by the valve stem done up first because there's a little more resistance there with the valve in the middle of the channel. And we're going to basically bring it around to about uh, leaving about a quarter of it open on the one side. Everything else is into the center channel. And then here is where I hang it onto my stand, just a old broomstick uh, in the stand works great. And we're going to take our stand's sealant, shake it up real good. Got to make sure that all the material is uh, dispersed throughout uh, and you get enough in there to help create a seal. Um, a lot of these tires now are tubeless ready. They'll uh, beat up fine actually hold air reasonably well without the sealant, but the sealant's nice uh, in case you run over any uh, thorns, sharp rocks, anything like that. So I use a little bit uh, anyway. Um, we're running about a cup and a half of the stand's sealant. We just place it into the bottom here. Do it again. Get our cup and a half. You got to make sure that the Material stays suspended in the cup, and I just kind of rinse it out, make sure we get any of the heavier materials in there, and that's actually what clogs it all up for you. So once it's in there, you basically just have to beat up the rest of your tire. So we'll just bring it around here. Keeping it all in the center channel so it beads up a little easier. And always nice to be have a third hand to hold the tire for you. Just work the tire iron around until you get it all secured. All dropped into the middle there. Um, take it around and uh, basically the tire is set up in the middle. You kind of take it, just kind of roll it around and flatten it out and what that does is helps the bead kind of just start pushing out towards the sidewall and you're also dispersing the sealant so it'll make it a little bit easier for the uh, tire to seal up and uh, usually you can get it done with a hand pump so if you're having problems with the hand pump of course you're going to want to try using a shop pump uh, compressor and uh, get it done that way but uh, with uh, running only 40 PSI in these smaller tires, it's uh, a little safer and uh, a little less hard on the tire to run a, a hand pump. So now that we've got it kind of set up, we're going to take our soapy water, just spray it right around the edge here, allow it to run through, and what this does is it allows it to slip off and bead up and seal nice and easy. And again, you're going to want to do this somewhere where you can make a little bit of a mess. You see I've got uh, soapy water dripping, 
Sometimes you're going to have some sealant dripping. And again, just run it around a little bit so you've got soapy water on all the edges. Okay. And you want the valve down at the bottom, generally, because any sealant that may have worked its way up, you don't want it to end up into your, uh, your floor pump. And once you get this going, you're going to need to inflate it up to about 40 psi. Make sure the bead seats. And you'll hear a nice little pop usually as it gets towards the bead. There we go. There we go, both sides. Head it up to about 40. Don't want to go any higher than 40 because you can blow it off the rim, damage the tire. Now that you've got it pumped up, you want to make sure you run your finger along the edge and feel that it's evenly seated all the way around. And you've got a nice bead on both sides and then it's good to go. So next thing you want to do, you want to take it and you want to disperse that sealant. So take it horizontal give it a little bit of shake, kind of work your way around the tire so it's putting that sealant everywhere and uh, you can do it this way and you can always be a little more thorough, flip it over but once you get that you're going to want to set the tire down let it sit for overnight, a day or so Make sure that you don't have any leaks. If it does leak, you're going to need to open it up or check the bead generally and then reset it to maybe add some more sealant. It just depends on the tire. But normally the newer ones are tubeless ready. They'll beat up right away. You'll be good to go. So this is Dave with MTB Discount. Uh, thank you for your time. Next one, check out. Uh, we're going to be setting up the rear wheels and cassette.